You can take out your refill sheets and lay them flat on a surface. You can use so many different things in them. Any 16 binder size can be used for different things. The main reason why I say yes, 16 binders are still worth it for anyone considering a 16 binder is that they're multi-functional. Any 16 binder size can be used for different things like journaling, whether you create journal spreads with stationary items, or you just wanna simply write things down like a diary, planning using calendar refills, note taking, or even creating mood or habit trackers. All of these options are what makes 16 binders so valuable and useful for your journaling needs. Also, the longevity of a 16 binder is a plus as well. 16 binders literally last for the long term. So for example, I've had my A5 binder the longest, so I've had that one about two to three years. And as long as you take care of them, they will last. You can also change out your binder refills, which gives you the freedom to reuse or repurpose your six string binder. So it's not a one use only or once your pages run out kind of thing, as you would probably experience with say a spiral or bound notebook or even a bullet journal. Six ring binders also make journaling fun. So the fact that you can use so many different things in them makes it fun and easy to be creative. By the way, thanks to all who posted on my community tab about 16 binders adding to your creativity. You can add so many stationary items such as deco stickers, washi tape, pictures, different memo sheets, art prints, so many different textures and materials to really make your journal spreads creative and pop. Six ring binders are also user friendly. A great example of this is that you can take out your refill sheets and lay them flat on a surface so you can create a journal with ease and evenly on both sides of your six ring binder. So think about how awkward or annoying it may have been for you, let's say to use a notebook or a journal and either the spiral rings are in the way or it was bound and it didn't make it easy for you to write smoothly and evenly on both sides of your paper. Now that problem can be eliminated with a six ring binder. Also six ring binders are DIY friendly. It's so easy to make your own refills and even cover inserts. And if you're really creative, you can even make your own six ring binder. Making binder refills can be so fun and you get cute and aesthetic refills you enjoy seeing every time you open and use your six ring binder. There's also the plus of a low-ish cost, especially for the quality that you're getting. So most 16 binders can range in price and it depends on if you're getting the 16 binder by itself or with other refills and accessories. So from my experience, most 16 binders can range from about five to $30, which the tail end may seem a bit pricey, but keep in mind the quality that you are getting and investing in a 16 binder is pretty priceless and it lasts way longer than a notebook or bullet journal that's a one-time use. The fact that you can accessorize your 16 binder binder is also a plus as well. So accessorizing your stitching binder is literally one of my favorite things about having them. There are so many different things you can do to add your own personal touch to your six string of binder, such as adding keychains or art prints on your binder cover. You can also accessorize it by adding a glitter PVC cover if available, like the one I have for my Luca Lab archive binder. So accessorizing your diary is something that yes, you can do with other journals or notebooks, but if it'll look this cute, it's pretty debatable. So I highly recommend six string binders for anyone looking for a journal that allows you to control the amount and kind of binder refills you use, as well as how you use it and how you want it to look. So let me know in the comments below, are 16 binders so worth it to you? And be sure to subscribe to my channel and I'll see you guys in my next video, kittens. Adios.